And now, our feature presentation. I've got Rainbow Dash inspired gauntlets, I also have Rainbow Bright inspired gauntlets, and I have Batman inspired gauntlets, and I'm going to show you how to make all three today. Super simple pattern, totally customizable. Let's go! Okay, I've already made the first glove uh, because there's really only one minor difference between making the left gauntlet and the right gauntlet. And when we get to row 15, I will explain that. For this project, I am using predominantly uh, Red Heart Super Saver. This is a worsted weight yarn in acrylic. It's got nice bright colors and it's a nice size. It's also kind of cozy if you're planning on wearing these as a costume. And up here in the Great White North, we do have a cool Halloween as a rule. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook. I recommend this size um, or 5.0 millimeter or 5.5 millimeter. Uh, but your stitch size is going to determine greatly the size of the hook you use plus how many foundation row stitches you make. I'll get to that. Also, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle and let's begin. I am going to chain 27 with my base color which is going to be red. Uh, the reason I'm making 27 is because that is the number that fits comfortably around my wrist using this size yarn and that size hook. So I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to chain 27. One, two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So there's my chain foundation row of twenty-seven. This fits around my wrist um, nice and comfortably, as you can see here. I can move it around and there will be a bit of stretch. So I encourage you to chain a length doesn't matter how many stitches because there's a neat little mathematical trick I'm going to teach you here. Chain a length around your wrist that fits you comfortably or fits the wrist of whomever you may be making these super gauntlets for. And um, that way you'll know that they fit you. So you're going to take your chained foundation row, you're going to take care not to twist it, and you're going to join the last stitch to the first stitch or the last chain to the first chain. Um, actually, and I'm going to make sure I don't <laughs> cross my yarn here. I'm going to join the last chain to the first chain with a slip stitch. And that's just wrap and pull through both. And now we're going to chain two. And we're going to half double crochet. So these, these uh, gauntlets are made in the half double crochet stitch and it's sort of like a nice tall single crochet. It's thick and it makes up a bit faster so that you can have a gauntlet that much sooner. So we're going to half double crochet in each stitch or each chain all the way along our foundation row and when I get to the end I will have a total of 27 half double crochet stitches because I have a foundation chain row of 27. The chain two at the beginning of the row and every successive row does not count. You are going to ignore that chain two. It doesn't count as a half double crochet stitch. It's just there kind of for filler. Um, now having said that, if you get to the end of a row and you realize that you've got uh, one too few, so let's say your baseline is 27 like me and you get to the end and you've got 26, well then I give you permission to go ahead and use that chain two as a half double crochet. But for all intents and purposes, I advise you not to use it uh, because I want you to focus on just using the real stitches. Okay, so I've reached the end of my, my row. I'm going to count. This is the chain two. This little thing here is the chain two that I made at the beginning. I'm going to ignore that. It does not count as a half double crochet. So I'm just going to take my needle out and I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I have exactly 27 half double crochet stitches, which is exactly what I want. I'm going to reach past, so this chain two, I'm going to reach past it, and I'm going to, I should say, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the half double crochet next to it, so that I can maintain my 27 stitches. So there is the end of row one. So to begin round two, we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to continue to half double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. And when you get to the end of your second row, you're going to count your half double crochets to make sure you have the exact number that you're supposed to. And that number is the same number as your foundation chain. So if you foundation chained 27, like me, then you will have 27 half double crochet. And the chain two does not count. And I will see you at the end of row two. All right, I'm at the end of round two. I've counted, I have 27 half double crochets all the way around. I am going to slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet, so the first true half double crochet, to slip stitch to join the row and finish it. And now, as you can see here, I have done two rows of each color all the way up until I get to the blue. So I've gone red, orange, yellow, green, purple, because the main part of my gauntlet is going to be blue, so I skip blue and I put the blue up here because this is Rainbow Dash after all. And that means that my two rows of red are now complete, so I can snip my yarn and I can pull that little tail back through that loop and just give it a little tug and that's it. That is it for the first two rows. Now, if you're just making a solid colored gauntlet, like the Batman gauntlets, you don't have to snip your yarn here. Um, you would just close off that row and chain two and begin all over again. So once you've got your two rows finished, if you're changing colors, fasten off and you're going to add your new color. And for me, that's going to be orange. So just like we started, I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to join it right here, right at the beginning, pretty much. Um, I'm going to put it in right on top of that, um, what we call the fake stitch, but I'm going to use that for now. I'm going to join this with a slip stitch. There we go. And I'm just going to continue on like I never even cut my colors. I'm just going to chain two and I'm going to continue to half double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. And I'm going to work over my little tails here just to sort of work them in as I go. I'm going to continue to count. I still want to have 27 stitches in this row, not including that half double cro or that, that chain two at the beginning. And I'm going to half double crochet all the way around. I'm going to um, close off this row with a slip stitch, chain two, and half double crochet and every other stitch all the way around again. Then I'm going to change colors and I'm going to do that five more times until I've gotten all the way up to the end of row 10 and the end of my purple. And I will see you guys at the end of row 10. All right, I have finished the wrist part of my gauntlet. So that is 10 rows or five color changes, 10 rows, each at 27 stitches, because my base foundation chain was 27. So if your base foundation chain was 20, each of your rows should have 20 stitches in it. If your base foundation row was 30, each of your rows should have 30 stitches in it, and so on. You don't count the chain two that you use to start the row, it's just considered filler. And so I'm at the end of my wristlet. Now I'm gonna move on to this pretty blue part, and this is where we start to expand a little bit. And there's a very easy mathematical equation involved in this. So first we're going to add our new color and for me that is this pretty little blue. I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to join it in the same line that I have been joining all my other yarns. So right in the middle and I'm going to join with a slip stitch 
I'm going to chain two. One, two. And this is how you decide where you're going to do your increases. We are going to put four increases into this row, and that's the only increase row we have. So your stitch count after the end of this row, row 11, will be your base foundation row number plus four. So for me, that would be 27 plus four equals 31. We are going to evenly space our increases. So here's my start point. I've squeezed the work together so that this is right in the very center bottom, or say the south position. I'm going to put an increase in the west position, the north position, and the east position, or at each of the quarters. And you can determine the quarters by taking your base foundation row number of stitches, dividing it by four. So I have 27. The next closest divisible number by four for me would be 28, or every seven stitches. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go every seven, and then I'm going to do one at six. And what you do is you simply half double crochet twice in those points. So I'm going to put a half double crochet in the same stitch that I joined in. I'm going to count my quarter number, which is seven in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, you'll notice that that takes me right to the very corner, or the west compass point, or the first quarter. This is where I'm going to increase. So I'm simply going to put another half double crochet into that same stitch that I just put number seven into. I'm going to continue all the way around, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to my next point, which will be directly opposite my start point. I'll put two half double crochets here. I will work my way around to this corner. I'll put two half double crochets in this stitch, and then I'll half double crochet all the way around back to finish off the row. I'll join with a slip stitch, and that'll be the increase row. Six. Okay, now I'm going to count. This row should be 27, which is my base number of stitches, plus 4. So that should be 31. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Ta-da! Now I'm going to join with a slip stitch. In the top of that true half double crochet. And I'm going to chain two. And for the next three rows, so this is the this was the increase row here. For the next one, two, three rows, I'm just going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch, chain two, and continue. So you're going to do three straight rows of just plain half double crochet all the way around. Every single row should have a stitch count of your foundation number plus four. And I will see you at the end of three more rows. Okay, I have just finished the end of the third row of just straight half double crochet after the increase row. So this, if you're following along, is row 11, the increase row, 12, 13, and 14. So we have finished row 14, and now we're going to put on the thumb hole. This is where we continue to use our compass points, our southwest, northeast, or our quarters. We're going to do the same thing. So if this is your first gauntlet, or your left gauntlet, the left gauntlet starts like this. You chain two, 
you determine, put this right in the middle, and you determine where your corner is. So right here is my corner. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to say eight is my corner. I'm going to count backwards three. One, two, three. So this little button here. So from here I have one, two, three, four, five. So you want to identify your corner stitch, back up three, so include it and go one, two, three, and you want to half double crochet all the stitches up to three stitches away from your very center corner point. So your quarter point, your west point, whatever you want to call this, this little stitch right here, you identify it, count back three, one, two, three, and count the rest. One, two, three, four, five. For me, that's five. So I'm going to half double crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No matter how many stitches you end up having all the way around, you're just going to chain six in this one location. So it's the same number of chains for everybody. Chain six, skip five. One, two, three, four, five into the next stitch, and it's the same for everybody, so you chain six, you skip five, you're going to continue to half double crochet into that next stitch, and in all the rest of the stitches all the way around. And you can see we've created a thumb hole. Now, if this is your right gauntlet, you would essentially do exactly the same thing only instead, so you get all the way, I'm going to take all this out, so if you're just doing your left one, you just continue, but pay attention to what I'm saying. You chain your two, and you do the exact same thing you did for the left gauntlet, only you do it for the, the right side. So you examine, you find your third quarter, or your east point, and you skip, skip back uh, three, one, two, three. And you can do this two ways. You can count all the way up to this point, or you can identify it and skip back the other way three. One, two, three. And you know that um, it's probably best if you get all the way around and count these ones, but if you can do the math, you know that you have to stop crocheting at this stitch. So this will be the last place I put a single cro or a half double crochet in. I will chain six, I will skip five, and then I will continue all the way around here. So just to be, just to be all smart about it, I am actually going to count. So there's my, there's my corner, my corner point. I'm going to go one, two, three back, and I'm going to count the rest of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So I'm going to sing, I'm going to half double crochet into the next 22 stitches, and then I will chain six, skip five, half double crochet into the following stitch, and into the rest to finish this row. Okay, so there I am. I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip five. One two, three, four, five, half double crochet into that next stitch, and in the rest. And at the end of this row, you will include all of those chains that you made as extra stitches. And what you should have now, your count for this row, should be your foundation row plus 5. So for me, that would be 27 
plus 5, that means I should have 32 stitches all the way around. But don't fret if it's not exact because we're going to do the next row and it's going to be a decrease row. So you chain 2 and just like you did for the increase row, you're going to identify your four corners, so your four quarters, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, or the compass points, however you want to look at it. And you're, this is just so you can evenly space four decreases. And you decrease by half double crocheting two stitches together. And you do that by doing this. You wrap your yarn as you would for a regular half double crochet, pull up a loop in the next stitch. Now you can do one of the following. You can wrap and pull up a loop in the next stitch, or you can skip wrapping and just pull up another loop. If you wrap in between each loop you pull up, you'll get a nice thick stitch, but if you don't want a nice thick stitch, just do what I do wrap and go through all the loops on your hook. And that is how you half double crochet two stitches together. Then you half double crochet as you normally would all the way around to the next quarter, which I will do. So there I am at the next quarter. I'm going to half double crochet these two on the ends together. And then I'm going to continue regular half double crochet around to the halfway point. And that pretty much puts me right there. Now, this doesn't have to be exact, guys. The whole point is that you just want to evenly space out those four decreases, um, just so it makes the, the gauntlet look a little more even. Then you're going to regular half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the last corner, and that will be somewhere in the middle of the, um, the chains that you made for your thumb opening. So, I'm going to put that half double crochet two together right in these two middle chains here. So I'm going to half double crochet in towards the middle. I'm going to, one more, there we go. I'm going to half double crochet these two chains together. And then, let's get that last one there. This is a little finicky here, so don't be frustrated with yourself if you have a bit of trouble. And then, I'm going to half double crochet all the way to the end of the row. And this stitch count will be your foundation row. plus the 5, minus the 4. <laughs> so for me, that would be 27, plus the 5, which was the, the, the little extra here that we stuck in the thumb, which gives me 32, minus 4. And you take 4 away from 32, and I'm left with 28. So I start with 27, I end with 28. And you will do the same. Whatever your foundation row is, after you get through the increase and then the decrease, you'll start with, you'll finish with one more stitch, one more stitch than what you had when you first started, and that will fit up here. That is where we finish the bulk of the gauntlet. So now you're going to snip your yarn. You're going to knot it off. Give it a little tug. And that is the base part. Now, this little bit here, this extra bit, this sort of superhero split down the middle, you know, neat, neat little detail, you put this on as a separate thing. 
So what you do is you identify the front of your gauntlet and you identify the middle stitch. So for example, if I'm looking, again, I squeeze my mitt in the middle and this is the middle point. Directly opposite it, or this stitch here, is going to be the middle stitch. I am not going to work this stitch. I am going to join with a slip stitch to this one on its immediate side, chain two, half double crochet all the way around until I get to this stitch on the other immediate side of that middle stitch and I will finish on this stitch and I will show you what I mean. So continuing with my pretty blue I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to join with a slip stitch. So this is my middle stitch here I'm going to join it on the stitch directly next to it. And I'm going to join with a slip knot. There you go. Chain two. One, two. Mind your little ends. I'm going to just crochet over top of mine. And I'm going to half double crochet in each stitch almost all the way around. Okay, I'm just nearing the end of this little row. I'm putting in my final half double crochet for this row and you'll notice I am leaving the middle stitch, so this one right here, untouched. I joined in the stitch next to it, chain two, half double crochet all the way around, and I did my final half double crochet for this row in the stitch very next to that middle one. I'm not going to touch that middle one. I'm going to chain two, flip my work. So now we're working backwards because we want to leave an opening. We're not working in the round anymore. I'm going to treat my chain two as an actual stitch this time and I'm just going to half double crochet into the next. And I'm going to do that all the way around. All right, I am just nearing the end of this row and I'm going to put a half double crochet into the last true stitch. So not I'm not going to work this this half the, the the chain 2 just because I'm trying to get sort of a V shape going. So I'm just going to put my last half double crochet into the top of the real the true half double crochet from the row previous if I can get my hook in there. My goodness. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Urgh, there we go. Whew. There. And you see how it's causing a V shape, right? Now, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn our work, and we're going to put in the final row. We are going to single crochet, so not half double, single crochet. And that is simply you insert your hook, bring up a loop, wrap, and go through both loops on your hook. You're going to single crochet into every single stitch around the top of your gauntlet. Okay, I'm getting to the end of this little row where I have a single crochet. Now, I'm at the end. I am going to chain one and I am now going to single crochet down this line. So I'm going to work one, two, three single crochets down this line. So basically the side of the open V and I'm going to try and put those stitches in nice and neatly. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Into that unworked stitch, so that stitch that we completely didn't do anything to, the one in the very middle of the front, we are going to slip stitch. So you're not going to single crochet, you're going to slip stitch into it. 
and then you're going to work three single crochets up the other side any way you can up the other side of that V and once you get those three single crochets in you're going to chain one and you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made of that row and that will give you a V. Just fasten off and you can weave that in with your yarn needle and there you go. That is the V. Okay, the next thing we're going to make is the beauty mark. Now a lot of this I'm going to leave up to you because depending on what colors you chose and what your inspiration was uh, for your superhero gauntlets is going to determine largely what you put here. Um, for the Batman gauntlets, now this is very important, the Batman gauntlets are made out of felt. So that little detail I made out of felt, I just googled the Batman image, I copied the pattern, the little picture I found in the images, cut it out, used it as a template, cut out the black felt and the orange felt, and then just simply made a running stitch to them and put them on here. Um, for the Rainbow Bright Gauntlets, I used my star pattern and I sewed the star on. And for this one, I used the cloud from the Rainbow and Cloud um, applique tutorial. Uh, also on the, I'm going to link all these um, other tutorials in the comment box down below. Um, so I'm going to leave this largely up to you because um, I don't think a lot of this needs explaining. Basically, you just create the little applique and you sew it on. Uh, my, my, my little lightning bolt is just um, whip stitching. So I just, I sewed two, one, two, three lines with three different colors. Uh, really, really basic. I knotted them all on the inside. I haven't even woven them in yet. I just did that so basically. Uh, but this is a costume piece, remember. Costume pieces aren't necessarily like real clothes, even though they can be. And then I just took the same colors that I used in the lightning bolt and I wrapped them sort of, I, I, took, um, I took one each, so I did this three times, one with once with each color, and I used my yarn needle and I just ran a whip stitch all the way around. Um, so I brought it up through the first stitch, skipped a stitch, and went down through the next stitch, and I did a rolling stitch over top of the outside all the way around. This is optional. You don't have to do this because, you know, this is kind of nice. It, you do finish off your gauntlet with that single crochet. It does look really nice, but if you're just going for that extra added punch of color, then I recommend you do that. So that's just a simple whip stitch all the way around the top and I did that with three different colors just because I wanted it to match my lightning bolt. All right everybody that is how we make superhero gauntlets Jada and Stitches style. I hope you totally enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends and if you make a pair can you please upload the picture and let me see what you did because I absolutely love to see what you guys do with our patterns. It is so much fun and it's really gratifying for me too. Um, this is not the last in a long line of really cool crochet complimentary things you can do for outfit fun. Um, I want you guys to think about the fact that when you put together a costume, um, it's the little details that actually sell it. So I'm going to come up with a couple more of these before the big day at the end of the month. And that is it for this show. Thank you so much for watching once again. We will see you soon with another awesome installment of Jada and Stitches. Bye! <laughs>